Hello Aquarius. Welcome to Intuitive Friends. This video is going to be a money, abundance, prosperity reading for the sign of Aquarius for the month of April 2019. Now I am having a little bit of a hard time shuffling for you, Aquarius, that tells me that we are working through some, we're working through some uh, blockages and I'm also feeling like a very scattered, scattered energy for you, Aquarius. And so if we are dealing with a scattered energy, then I do believe that April is going to be a time when things kind of get back into alignment for you. Okay. All right. So what we've got now for this uh, current energy as it relates to money, wealth, finances, and abundance for you, Aquarius, we've got the Three of Pentacles in reverse. We also have the Six of Pentacles upright and the Ace of Pentacles upright. Very interesting. Now, when I see the Three of Pentacles in reverse, that tells me that you have let go of that poverty mindset. You've really changed the way you think about money and finances, and you've actually kind of improved your financial literacy in in a lot of ways you've really really moved on from that um, lack mentality and you're working on being more generous and even starting some new ventures profitable projects that are definitely going to uh, pay off in the future Again, I'm feeling, I'm feeling kind of like I said, a very, um, a very uh, fiery, <laughs> very fluid energy. All right. So we've got the Nine of Wands here, the Ten of Wands, the King of Wands, and also the World card. So a lot has been happening with you, Aquarius, on the job front. Um, I do see that you have kind of been overburdened, maybe overworked, maybe even um, kind of taking on some challenges that uh, were not initially yours. Like you've kind of had to clean up the mess of other people and it's really caused you a lot of stress. It's caused you to feel overwhelmed, to feel overburdened, and to feel very, very challenged with what you can do for yourself because you're feeling like you're constantly um, undoing some of the choices or bad choices that others have made because they affect you so greatly. But now I also see this king of wands here and this is a very content card it means like um, you've put in the work you've made the changes you've set things right and you're very happy and you feel very confident in what you've what you've done in the recent past and I do see that paying off because we have the world card here now the world card talks about everything coming full circle everything um, going in the direction that you want it to go and setting yourself on the right path to move towards your goals. That is definitely happening. You've had to work to make it <laughs> to, to, to get there, but you're definitely going to see um, some of the, some of the, uh, I guess, fruits of your labor. You know, everything that you've done, all the work, the emotion, the blood, sweat, and tears that you've put into this, it's definitely going to pay off. And it's going to pay off rather quickly. All 
I also see this Queen of Pentacles here. Now, when I see her, this, again, talks about financial education, financial literacy, um, also getting things in order, getting things right. That's uh, kind of like that energy that I've been feeling throughout this reading, that um, things have kind of been all, all over the place, but you're definitely doing what you need to do to set yourself up for success. Now, let me go ahead and... Pull from the other deck. If you're thinking of making a big change, Aquarius, I would say if you've considered all the angles, now would be a good time to do it. One more. All right, we've got the Three of Cups, we've got Temperance in reverse, and we also have the Hangman. Now, the Three of Cups, that can be read two ways. This can either be a celebration or it could mean a third party. Now, because this is in the upright position, it could mean that a third person is coming into the picture to help you get things right and get things back on track. You know, it could be a mentor, maybe you hire a virtual assistant, uh, maybe someone steps in and gives you some information that you just didn't know and that really turns things around for you. Uh, you also have temperance in reverse. Now, this means that things when it comes to finances could be a little out of balance. But again, that's only temporary because you are feeling kind of stuck. You're feeling stuck in between maybe a decision of whether or not you should launch a brand new business or maybe you're trying to decide, should I quit my job and work on my side hustle full time? Whatever it is, you're going to still be there uh, throughout April, but it's okay because you're still getting things in place. So you're not going to be stuck and you're not going to feel confused or overwhelmed about what it is exactly you should do. How are things going to go for Aquarius as it relates to money, wealth, finances, and abundance in April 2019? All right, big change, huge changes. Now I see the page of pentacles here. This means a message or some information is coming your way that can definitely turn everything around for the better and in a huge way. So be on the lookout because something new, uh, news, information, a message, Something huge is on the way that's going to be the turning point. It's going to be the total game changer for you as it relates to your money. I mean, it literally will be like a night and day thing um, that's going to happen or that's going to definitely turn things around from you in a, in a good way. Okay. That's very interesting, Aquarius. Um, I'm actually excited for you because, like I said, this is definitely definitely something major on the horizon for you. So let's go ahead and pull a Eternal Crystals Oracle card and see what messages the crystals have for you as it relates to money, wealth, finance, and abundance. Oh, and there we go. And the card you got is Rutilated Quartz. This is about home and the root chakra. Rutilated quartz is a very grounding stone. It has very, very grounded energy. And when I see this home here, that's a good reminder for us to make sure we get our financial house in order before we do anything else. You know, you need to have that financial stability. You need to have that uh, financial confidence that everything in your house or in your home life as it relates to money is secure and is uh, built on a solid foundation that can help you grow and progress and also help your family grow and move forward in their lives as well. All right, Aquarius, uh, that is your money, finance, and abundance reading for the month of April 2019. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I will definitely see you again.